history with surfing begins when my dad used to chuck me off a pier and force me to go surfing. He even would then paddle out with me, holding on around his neck, and he'd paddle out and I'd just be denied, be like, no, 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 the whole way. Then we'd get out there, he'd flip around, catch a wave, and hold me in his arms while he surfed the wave. Hi, I'm Dustin, and I'm from Hawaii, and I'm now living in Australia. I'm a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, uh, ex-pro surfer, and a yoga teacher. Uh, Australia is a, a lot more than just kangaroos and meat pies. It is extremely culturally diverse, amazing lifestyle to be had. The cafe culture and the food and coffee in Melbourne is outstanding. Surfing, it's this connection to nature, that, that sensation of being absolutely present perfectly in the moment. When you're surfing, you have to be aware of so many different factors, where the wave is, what the bottom contours are like, what the wind is doing. And when you are catching and riding wave, all that face inside and you're just pure sensation, pure feeling and going with the flow in every sense of the word. In Jiu Jitsu, it's much the same. It takes a while to kind of find that place where you can be in the moment, but there, there's a moment in a fight where there's nothing else happening everything else blurs to the side and your focus is 100% right there on your opponent and what you're doing. I find all these things have to share this common thread of being absolutely present in the moment. And same as when the yoga practice you use that point, it all comes together. As you breathe, as you move, you bypass your thoughts. You're able to be an observer and notice what comes up for you. In jiu-jitsu, you're constantly gripping and holding a kimono. You're fighting. You can even choke your opponent with their gi or kimono. And so you, I started waking up from so much gripping and so much training. My hands were like little claws, little Mr. Burn hands. And so after my first yoga session, it was hot yoga, I immediately felt this big release in my hands and my forearms. And I knew if that was the only benefit that I felt, that it was gonna be something really beneficial for me. And in life, it's so easy to be like, oh, the conditions weren't right, and the surf was shitty and I fell, or in jiu-jitsu, that guy was so much better than me, he weighs 20 kilos heavier, and that's why I lost. In yoga, it's your shit. It's your accountability for where you are in the moment. If you fell out of a balancing pose, it's because your mind lost focus or you weren't strong enough. And so it constantly reveals to you your imbalances or where you're holding on and what you can let go of to bring more space.